Um, Pierre was and is to me still one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. I think my first reaction was just uh, I was happy because um, where I was in Portugal I wasn't really enjoying it um, so I was just happy to be to have an opportunity to go somewhere and play so it was a bit of a relief yeah I, I remember the first time I I was shown around uh, the stadium and I was just I was actually quite surprised um, at how nice the stadium was and how nice the, the changing room and the, the whole environment was. So it was a, it was a nice surprise. I didn't need too much convincing because, um, like I said, I wasn't enjoying where I was. And I just, uh, you know, my brother, my brother really just spoke to me and said, oh, this is just a good opportunity to go play your football and just, you know, be able to show what you can do. So for me, it was really almost a no-brainer to come here. was my first game? Um, I think it was Obi away. Exactly. Yes, it was Obi away. And I came on, I think, maybe for like the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And uh, even in those 10 minutes, I was tired. And you know, like, um, when you first get on the pitch, especially your first game, you're a little bit like, all over the place. You're just running all. Over. You're just running around, kind of a little bit. Uh, how do you say it? Naive. You're just running everywhere, trying to pressure everything. So, yeah, it was. Um, it was a. It was a nice feeling to make my uh, my debut for the club. But I don't think there was uh, there was much in that game that I could say I was happy that I did. You know. I think it was, was it Hobro? I started to play more games, so I started to gain a bit more confidence. And I think we started the match really well. I think, I think Vito, Vito had scored already. So we, we had played already a good game. So I was, I was feeling very good. I think the team was feeling very good. And I think the situation was the ball broke, uh, I think from a duel. I, I picked it up almost in the middle of the pitch and I just ran, ran with it to the edge of the box and then I just, I shot it with a little bit of help from the goalkeeper because when I watch it back, uh, he should have saved it, but luckily for me he didn't, so it was, it was a really nice moment. It's a, it's a bit hard to put into words, you know. Um, to be able to win something, not only for yourself, but with your teammates, you know, as you go through a season together and you go through a lot of things together. So to be able to achieve that, and on that day, it was just, you know, I didn't play, I didn't play all that, all that well, but you know, in the moment, you forget about all of that and you're just so happy to finally, you know, to have achieved something with the group and, uh, as a team and it was just a really, it was a special day for all of us, I think, especially with uh, how many of the fans that came that day, you would have thought that we were playing at home, you know, the support from the fans was amazing and, you know, just the celebrations afterwards, it was just, it was just a really good day. It's, it's one of the, I say one of the best days in my career, I think, yeah. The atmosphere for the Galatasaray game was it was incredible, especially both here and also away. Their fans were wow. The, you could feel the the real the tension in the game, and um, yeah, the support they had over there was it was a little bit daunting. You know, in the warm up, like you you could oh, wow, you couldn't hear anything anyone was saying on our side, the coaches or anything. It was so loud. And considering that wasn't even their home stadium and they basically packed it full, it was, it, it was amazing. And also for the, just for the game itself, I, I played probably one of my best games, I think for runners in, in that game. And, 
you know, for us to to be so close to actually beating Galatasaray, it was it was it, was, it has to be one of my one of the best days I think for me in my career. And then also out here playing against Leicester, both home and away, but especially out here because regardless of the score line, if you watch that game, you know there wasn't a big, big difference between us and them. I feel like if we were a little bit better in terms of the chances that we had, taking the chances that we had, that game could have been a lot closer. So I was just really proud of the effort that we, we, we put in, especially at home. And uh, yeah, the opportunity to play against Leicester is always, is always something that you'll remember. So. Denmark is a fantastic place to be. I feel like my three years here, um, everybody has just made me feel very welcome. And, um, you know, as a footballer and as a person, you, you want to be as stress-free as possible, you know? And I feel like the Danish people and the culture is, it's uh, definitely one of the best for that. I feel like they're very welcoming and if you ever need help with anything, they're always there to help. And I feel like the lifestyle is so relaxed that you can just, okay, after your football, which is very stressful, you have a lot on your mind. Sometimes you just want to be able to just go and relax and kind of be left alone. And uh, I think uh, in Denmark, you guys are really good at that, where it's just a relaxed environment and you don't take things too, too seriously. Sometimes I feel like as, as players, you're not able to relax even off the pitch because sometimes the fans will come up to you and they will, you know, they make it difficult for you to like just relax and be yourself. But in Denmark, win or lose, especially with our fans, win or lose, the fans are always there to support you. And, Whenever they see you, they're always happy to see you. Yeah, so yeah, it's been it's been great. Um, Pierre was and is to me still one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Um, him and his wife, Karen, I, um, when I came, you know, being away from my family and. They taking me in and letting me stay with them. Um, I think uh, without that beginning, I don't, I don't think I would have settled in so, so well. And you know, they've just been. Yeah, it's almost like having a second family away from, uh, from home. So yeah, I think I, I will miss him a lot. And yeah, yeah, he was, uh, he was a very special person. Um, I feel like. For the person that Pierre was and the amount of lives that uh, I think he he touched and the amount of people that he helped, uh, he definitely deserves to be to be honored like this. Um, yeah, just thinking about uh, just thinking about him and all the things that he he just did for me personally. It's a bit it's emotional, but um, yeah, I think. Uh, for his family and for everyone, I think it's a, it's a great thing that he he will get honoured on on Sunday. <laughs>